Welcome to the Venetian. This is the largest hotel in America. Every room is a suite. I cannot wait to show you around. This room is 650 square feet. It's really large. I'm excited to show you around, but before I do, hi, my name is Ruby and welcome to my channel. If you are not subscribed, consider hitting the subscribe button. Oh, and sorry if I'm a little hoarse today, the dry air is really affecting my vocal cords, but let's give you a tour. So this room feels incredibly spacious, especially in this living room area. You have a dining room table, a big desk to work, several chairs and couches. You could definitely be in here with a lot of people and be very comfortable. As far as bathrooms go for the standard room, this one's really nice. Double vanity with a separate water closet huge tub and shower and there is a separate desk vanity to do your makeup you guys know i love that i am a little disappointed to find that there aren't any robes or slippers here in these rooms so now that is our beautiful room i really need some r and r and i think we're gonna head down to the pool let's go check it out Okay, we walked down to the pool deck. I love that we're on the same floor. It was really easy, but it's a really pretty pool. Like the bars and the design are really, really nice. It's a bunch of like smaller pools. We did have a little bit of trouble finding some chairs, but we're here now and we're gonna have some swimming and enjoy ourselves. got back from the pool we are really hungry I think we're gonna go see what they have in the food court we're looking for something cheap and quick to eat let's go all right stopped at the food court really quick we are starving Italian food sounded really really good for some reason and they had a little Italian place right behind us this is like 13 bucks which is really not bad this is a good size they have tacos, they have hot dogs, and even like $7 slices of pizza. So the food court's got some good options if you're just hungry after your pool time. Finished up some lunch. It was good, it was filling, it was cheap most importantly. This hotel is so humongous that it's still one that I get lost in. So I think it's time that we go and explore and try to show you everything that we can show you in the beautiful Venetian. Let's start in the lobby because it is insanely beautiful. It's a great way to start when you come to check in at the Venetian. You'll notice the really beautiful fountain in the lobby here. All the coins donated in the Venetian are actually then matched by the Adelsons who donate all of this money to the Adelson Clinic Foundation. Sheldon Adelson was the founder and chairman of the Venetian and he recently passed. So it's really cool that they have this here in his memory. Once you're off the lobby, you're in the casino. Now the casino has a fantastic variety of slot machines. We always find a new one we wanna play and we really enjoy gambling here. I will say, even during the week, this casino can get insanely crowded, like so busy. Everyone comes here to gamble, so just be aware of that. So the location of the Venetian, you are pretty much as far north as I would consider still being in the center. So this is a good spot. You are north, but you're still pretty much in the middle. Ooh, yeah. Attached inside the Venetian is the Grand Canal Shops. Basically, the Venetian has its own mall. Here, you're gonna find a variety of shopping and dining that is unmatched. It is really amazing. They also have the iconic gondola rides here, so if you wanna be pushed through in a beautiful boat ride, they have that here for you as well. If you see me walking down the street and I 
Inside the shops here, you also have one of the best photo ops you can get in Vegas. The love sign is just a beautiful place for you and your family to take some pictures. And it's connected right over to the Palazzo. The Palazzo is the second tower of the Venetian. Think of it as like the wind to the encore sort of thing. And it is an, also an all suite tower. If you come and stay in the Palazzo, you're gonna have a little bit quieter of a casino area and a separate pool. They also have my favorite lounge here, which is Electra, where we like to come and party. They also have Rosina Cocktail Lounge and some other restaurants here inside the Palazzo area. All right, we got all changed and ready. Tonight we are having dinner at Del Monaco. So that is gonna be Admiral Lagasse's restaurant, like New Orleans, Italian. We're gonna see what they have. Very excited to go check it out. We made it down to Del Monaco. My first impression is what a fantastic wine list. There's so many options. I think I'm gonna get a Prosecco. But they also have really good food options here. It looks like a lot of seafood, steaks, and some Italian stuff in here. So we're gonna get something light, I think, for me, and a steak for Mr. Ruby, and we'll see how it is. I've got my starters. So I am having the baby gem lettuce salad, and it has king crab on the top, and avocado and green goddess dressing. It looks really nice. We also got a Prosecco. We got an Italian blend, and it was called Alice, and it's really, really good. Okay, I got an appetizer for my main because I was not super hungry. I got the uh, tomato pasta pomodoro, so it's just like some fresh angel hair, some Parmesan cheese and basil and tomato. Mr. Ruby got the filet and he got some fingerling potatoes, which looks shareable. So we're going to eat this and see how it is. I'd rather not burn either. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> This stuff doesn't stop burning. We ordered the Bananas Foster's table side. They do a lot of table side dining here, like Caesar salad and Chateaubriand, but I wanted to save the best for dessert. Mm. Good it's stuff. so good. Okay. Dinner was fabulous. We really loved it. The wine was amazing. The service was like super, super top notch. We loved everything we ate. The steak in particular was excellent, so we highly recommend Del Monaco. I thought it was an awesome option. Kind of more casual upscale, which was really nice and relaxing. Definitely recommend it. Now I think we are gonna maybe go and grab an after dinner cocktail. We made it to the Dorsey. I ordered the Leo cocktail because it's Leo season. Rum, Campari, and strawberry syrup. They also play incredibly awesome music in here. This is very much like a loungy, relaxing vibe. Come and get a seat in the library if you can. We are out on the balcony up on the second floor. This is one of our favorite views of the Las Vegas Strip. It's a beautiful part of the Venetian. The outside of the Venetian is so pretty. And to be able to look out and see all the traffic and see the mirage across the street, it's just really relaxing and beautiful. We had a really good dinner and the cocktails after were really nice. They played such good hip hop in that bar. And now I think we just wanna enjoy this huge room. I definitely wanna try out the tub and take a little rest. I will see you guys all in the morning. Good morning, everyone. So it is time for me to give you guys my final thoughts on the Venetian. Let me just say this. A lot of you guys hyped this property up for me so much that I was like very, very excited to come stay and had really high expectations. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a tiny bit underwhelmed. Let me explain why. Let's just start by talking about the room. 
So I really love the size of the room. Having a dining room table and a desk and like this huge living area that's sunken in as like a standard room, I think is a big reason why everyone comes and stays here and falls in love because you have so much space. Personally, the design isn't to my taste, but that's just an opinion. The dark furniture and like the big furniture makes it feel a little dark and kind of claustrophobic in here for me. For a suite, they're lacking in a couple of amenities. There's no personal fridge here to put your belongings and there's not even really a shelf in the mini bar for you. The toiletries I don't feel like are as luxe as some of the other properties that I've stayed at with this price point. And we didn't have any slippers or robes. And I don't know if that's just our room we didn't get any or if they just don't offer that here. But for the price, I expect some of that stuff. Now, we originally booked for about $250 a night. We ended up seeing it drop and did call and get our room rate adjusted, which I always recommend you keep watching your room rates. We ended up paying in total for this room $194 with resort fee and everything all in. However, I've seen it go as much as around like $250, $270 during the week. And for me, that's a lot to not have as luxurious amenities as I've seen in the past. That story kind of carries over into the pool. The pool area is very pretty, but it was a bunch of smaller pools, which sometimes I like, but all the chairs felt very crushed together. It was hard to even find a chair on a Monday afternoon, and I can't imagine how crowded it is on the weekends or if you're even able to find a beach chair. For how big the hotel is, how big the property is, I kind of expected a little more from the pool area. Now, restaurant-wise, a total win, a total 10 out of 10. They have Delmonico here, which we ate at, and it was fabulous. We've eaten at Tao for sushi, and I loved that too. I've also seen people highly recommend Yardbird. Milos has a great lunch special I've heard about. So there's a bunch of fine dining and sit-down dining that you guys are like absolutely telling me to go check out. But there's also a food court with some good cheap eats. So food-wise, you're super good. You're always gonna have something to eat. There's a bunch of variety and good choices. They're really killing it with food here. For me, just from being at so many properties, if I compared this price point to other hotels at the same price, there's just ones I would rather stay at than stay here again personally. Regardless, I can't say I don't recommend it. I think if you guys stayed here, I think you would like it. I know a ton of you already do, and I'd love you to leave in the comments down below if the Venetian is your absolute favorite, and if my experience doesn't match yours, please let me know down below. That's kind of how this channel is here for us to help everybody out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and I hope to see you all in my next review. If you're just finding me, you can hit subscribe. I'm gonna be doing way more hotel reviews, gambling, food, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you guys all in my next one.